well, it's two. And, it's two and a half hours. It's, it's not bad. So it's a nice, it's a nice, good chill. You could skip, you know, look around, you know, see what's going on, enjoy it, your leisure. I mean, most of it is just me being angry. Actually, that's been like the past three episodes. No, the past thirteen. I'm always mad. I try not to be mad today. Today was a good day. I'm squatting in my house now. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I saw that. So they, so someone has officially taken possession of the home, but you still in it? It's weird. I don't think they took possession of it. They own it. They now have the title for it. Okay. So like physically, I'm in possession of this house still. Okay. Like I'm, I'm still here. So, so is the whole point to do house hunting on your own, closer to your job, or you, or you getting away from the house thing for a while? Oh no, we got a house. We got a house close to the jo- um, closer to my job. And so we don't, we don't get to close until July six because of my bank for some dumb reason. July six, ain't that your um? So you don't get, you don't get to close on your house. It was it well closing on your house is. Yeah, that's your wedding Happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> that's your wedding anniversary. Got uh, keys. Yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary. I ain't buy you shit. I got you a house. <laughs> that's your ass a house when you ask for nothing. And and that is a rolling start. That is Major Linux from Nacho Friends Podcast and um uh, Extra Life or Extraordinaire. Uh this is Carcasm. Chase is in the building. What's up guys? Woohoo. Woohoo. And um I'm Scarfinger, and I am very tired. I am now, like, in week two of being full-time dad again. You look tired. Bruh, it's real. And then <laughs> and then at work, and then at work, right, I work, I work for a moving company. And basically, I do all of the bookings for the moves. I don't actually move anything myself. Fuck that. But um, th- what happened was the last two weeks have been completely booked. So... My days consist of 80% telling people we can't help them all day. So you like that exclusive restaurant where it's like, you know, they got the phone only to tell people, nah, yeah. B, like, you just can't eat here. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, right. There's nothing we can do. But, like, I'm, Gu- but I'm Gucci Mane. Like, no, nah, I don't give a shit if you Gucci Mane. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all got to you Gucci Mane. You can't, you can't eat here. Um, that's pretty much my day. That my my whole day at work is you can't eat here. I ain't got no availability until the third. Like, and and that's been for the last two weeks, and it is uh, frustrating. But and then I get to do like stuff like I watch most of the second half of Luke Cage at work because I had nothing else better to do. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like those. Well, I would say I like those jobs, but that's the reason why I left my job. Yeah, I, I mean, like, d- you don't no, want. I don't want that. Yeah, you don't really want to do that all the time. Like, so, no. th- like when you have things to do, that makes the day go by faster. Like when you're sitting there watching Luke Cage or like band videos all day, like I do at work. Um, the the day moves by really slow. Like you feel like you've done like a whole lot, and you're like, okay, what time is it? Ten thirty. What the fuck you mean it's ten thirty? I, how I see it, it seems like it gets to about two o'clock pretty quick. You're like, oh man, it's about two o'clock. It's about time to go, you know, like, but it's like four hours until you leave, really. But from two to like five takes forever. <laughs> yeah. The last two hours of the day, when three o'clock hits, it usually, usually gets pretty dead at work. Everybody trying to make their calls in the morning. And it's just like the last two hours just drags. And so that's why I look forward to Wednesday. We have a team meeting at 3.30. And, you know, if we can put in jokes, install, like just derail the conversation long enough, it can go till five. There was like, oh, damn, it's five. All right. We got to go. And like, cool. Let's do this. Right. <laughs> do shit for like two hours. All right. It's nice. For real. <sighs> but yeah, I had to, yeah, I had to leave that old job. It was just sitting around doing nothing. Now I get to tell people, no, you're doing shit wrong and just, and, you know, get an army of people back me up on what on a call. So, look, all these people said you're doing it wrong. Now what? So, Safe. so do you do you pretty much run shit at work now? Oh hell no, <laughs> no. I'm bottom of the totem pole. I like to think I, I think I like to think I run stuff, but no, nah, I don't. Well, sometimes when you think it, 
Like, I mean, that that almost got me arrested last week. Um, but <laughs> so a, a coworker thought that she ran me. Um, that almost got me arrested. I like I almost had I almost had one of those called call the cops on black people for no reason type situations. Nah, see, this is when I just use white people to my advantage. She's like, look, OK, you ain't gonna listen to me. I'll, I'll go. Here's this white woman. You know, she runs the account. You, you come over here. You you tell her, that, Karen. Uh, you're Karen, supposed to do this. here, come here, come here. Yeah, you, you, you come and you tell him because he's not listening to me. And like, dude's really sweet on her. So you know, <laughs> all, all, all I gotta do is change this setting. Oh, for you, baby, anything. Yeah, but when I tell him to do it, it's, it's like, man, it's always you, the worst. Right? It, the, the worst. The worst thing is like. When someone wants, when someone gets pissed off at you and they want to speak to someone else, and then the other person says the exact same thing you said, and you just like, bro, I just said all of that. Like, what is? That? And and now you acting like I had a lady today, and uh, she called, and her things are in storage. We store things, uh, put them in crates, and stack them in our warehouse. And she wanted to move the, uh, well, no, she wanted to bring her things into storage and put it in the warehouse. She asked me how much it costs. It's very expensive. Um, I've never seen a time in my life where people are more willing to just hand me a card for thousands of dollars in my life. Um, but she is moving from like Salem, Virginia, which is like 140 miles away. And she's moving into the area, but she didn't know what she was doing. And so I'm, so she's going back and forth with me. And I'm like, well, do you want to just talk to your husband about this? And then she completely switches the shit up on me and says, it doesn't sound like you want to help me. You don't know what you're doing. (laughs) So I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to work on this on my own. I'm a, you know, we going to hang up right now. I'm going to figure this out and then I'll call you back. And when I called her back, she was, she seemed like she was perfectly fine. Like, okay, I'll give you thousands of dollars. <laughs> like, okay, fine, I guess. Like, she was, when, when I was talking to her and telling her how much it cost, she was just like, ooh, maybe I need to talk to my husband. I don't know whether she talked to her husband in the meantime, but she seemed much more willing to hand me, uh, to, to read me off a card over the phone for thousands of dollars after I called her back though. No, it, it just sounds like me. When my wife, she, like, she told me how much moving was going to cost. I was like, no, you need to find something cheaper. Do it now. And then days went by, more house buying and selling things happened. And it broke me <laughs> to where she told me, no, it's going to cost a thousand dollars. Man, I just, I just don't even care. Just, <laughs> fine, just here, here's my life savings. Take it. Just it's got, get it, this it, over it, with. I just, it, I can't, it's gotta I just be, can't deal anymore. <laughs> I had I had one of those. A guy wanted to move like really far away, and his quote was like for almost four thousand dollars. And he was just like, after my week, all right, it's a visa. (laughs) (laughs) Check, put whatever number you feel is appropriate on it. (laughs) Fucking just move this now. Yeah, just I, you know, just come get this shit. Like really, like I just uh, just come get it. I, as long as I don't have to live a thing, you know what? You can have it. Like it's real. That, that, actually, that's what bugs me about. Um, or not? It doesn't bug me. I'm really happy I have friends who want to help me move. But it's that awkward conversation of sure, yeah, you could come over to the house to help me move. Just don't be surprised when there are movers moving my shit, and I'm sitting on a couch. Just like, yeah, that goes over there. That when, goes over there. Goes when over I'm there. when I bought a house uh, years ago, I, I, I went to my cousins who were all not working at the time, and I said, "I will give each of you X amount of money as long as I don't have to lift a thing." <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna tell you the first time you do something like that, it's just the most boss move you could ever do. I joked when, so we use movers to move from um, Durham to where I'm currently. I was like, you know what? Nah, we get movers. I got this good job, but we get movers. I ain't, I ain't touching a thing. And even at that point, five hundred dollars was a lot. But I was like, you know what? I ball it. I got this. Let's do it. Now moving from where we are, like an hour away, it's like you talk about that. Man, I'm balling, but like. And I, I, mean, I got a better paying job, but I mean, I mean, that's still a 
dollars a dollar. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's like it's like when I look at my um my my cart on Amazon because I got a bunch of stuff on Amazon that I should have bought a long time ago. And like mm-hmm. you know, like I you know I paint, and sometimes I do larger paintings, but a box bundle of twenty five of the boxes that will fit the larger paintings is like $71. And I'm just like, do I, you know, I was just like, yo, I need to do this so I can sell these paintings, blah, blah, blah. But do I really need to spend $71 on boxes, bro? Yes. <laughs> it's like every time I look at the cart, because I did a save for later. So I go to buy something else and I see those boxes and I'm like, I should buy these boxes right now. And then I go, you know what? No, I don't. <laughs> Like, fuck it. They can stay in the cart. <laughs> I got it. I definitely have it. I just don't want to spend $71 on boxes for other people. It's like, you know, you're running low on toilet paper. So, you know, I could buy like a four pack now, technically, while I have toilet paper. And, <laughs> you know, just, just keep the stockpile up. But then when I run out and then shit looking real dire, like literal <laughs> shit looking dire, like, man. <laughs> All they got in the all they got in Lowe's now is like three thousand pack of toilet paper. This is gonna cost me <laughs> no. a small child. No, the, 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 the worst part about it is like when you when you really need it, all you can find is one ply. It's like yeah. damn dog, ah. I gotta make a fucking ah. mitten to wa- to wipe my ass right now. I gotta literally take this thing and wrap this junk like gauze around my hand uh, enough to like, you can't even see you can't even see my hand no more. And I'm a dark brother, like uh, bruh, I can't even see my hand no more because I gotta wrap this thin ass toilet paper around my hand till I can't see my hand anymore, just so yeah. I don't possibly rip through and touch my own asshole. And then it's just so <laughs> just cuts. It's just going to cut you, and then like, you're right. like, yo, like... Yeah, it's it like... It's like a murder <laughs> bathroom. Brother at Lowe's. Bro- paper, brother blood, at, Lowe, brother at Lowe's is, I got this, I got this sandpaper, dog. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's on one hand, you're like, you want good toilet paper. On the other hand, you're like, I'm literally buying this shit to shit on it. Like, right. do I really want to put a lot of money in this shit? Yes, you do. Yes, the yes, answer is do. yes. The, the answer, yes, the, look, the answer is always yes. There's if they two made th- five plot toilet paper. I'm buying that <laughs> shit. Look, I'm gonna fight my ass with a blanket. <laughs> do you know what? I got that soft cardboard though. Like it's it's thick like cardboard. It's like you know what? Sold. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? You know what the thing is? Like, you want to spend a little bit on your toilet paper. And there's two things that you don't really want to skimp on. Your toilet paper and the stuff that you use to wash your clothes. Like, for real. You don't want to get the cheapest thing you can find. You don't want to get that fabuloso. <laughs> I mean, no, well, I, no. I might skimp on that. The thing I won't skimp on is cheese. I, I can't really do- buy store brand cheese. I can't Candy. buy. I don't buy a whole bunch of cheese around here because I'm, because you know my girl don't like cheese. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant. So. Me too. But you know what? Well, you don't want to get I, the I, cheese, I, and when you I, break it, it's like powder. <laughs> you want it to be cheese. You know what I mean? Wax, I had waxy cheese. No, no, you don't want to get. You don't want to get like that Dollar Tree cheese that don't actually melt. Have you ever tried to use some Dollar Tree cheese before? No, and then you put it don't you, burn. I'm not buying cheese from Dollar Tree, <laughs> bro. At, at some at, at some point, we all been there in our lives that we had to buy some Dollar nope. Tree cheese. And nope. even like the stuff that look all right, the shredded cheese. Like you put the shredded cheese on something, you put it in the microwave. You be like, why well, I still look the same? I got evicted from my apartment in college, which forced me to move in with my now wife because I was buying regular, I was buying craft singles. Thank you. I wasn't paying bills so I could afford craft singles. <laughs> my man was my pulling, str- my man cheese. pulling string cheese apart and laying it on a sandwich. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm buying the real shit. I'm, no, I'm not saving money. No. It's, it's, Damn, thank you. Buying- he buying the mozzarella in the red foil package. You know, <laughs> I can't, look, I came from a very, very poor family. I'm sorry. I feel like, look, I deserve this shit. <laughs> you know what? That's why. I, I, that's what I feel like, and that's how I feel about like. I have a really hard time, with the exception of like when I'm buying like uh, art supplies. I find it very difficult to use coupons. 
I no no I can't. Now, but, mm. I can't. Now I did start using them because sometimes these art supplies get a little up there. Um, but if I go to Michael's, Michael's always got some sort of a sale. I'm good. But anywhere else, I cannot. I can't force myself to use a coupon. I will use a digital coupon like at Best Buy or something. Or if I'm like looking at if I'm looking at uh, various websites, that, hey, you could buy like this thing for your computer, like a, maybe a hard drive or like maybe a cell phone case or a battery pack. Yeah, we've got this coupon code. I'll use that. But I'm yeah, not but I'm, clipping shit and I ain't taking it to a store. None I'm not, of that. So yeah, I'll you pay not, a full price yeah. for everything. When I go to one of those places, I'm using the one that's on my phone. I pull it up on the phone. I take a screenshot. The lady say, all right, you got a coupon screenshot. It's on my phone. I'm not about to pull out no paper. Oh, like, that's, 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 that's too much paper. Yeah. That's, that's stuff that you can be using for more one ply <laughs> to make it two ply. <laughs> No, I'm going to tell you. All right. When you get low enough to have to use printer paper, I'm going to tell you the secret, right? (laughs) Here's the secret. Crumple it up. Uh Open it back. Crumple it up. Open it back. Crumple it up. Open it back. That process (laughs) makes it soft enough for you to use. That's what you do when you you, you know you when you know. See, that only works when you know you're out. That way, as you're as you're starting, you can begin doing it while you're doing your business. Because let me tell you something: when you find out that you ran out and you didn't know after you did your until after you did your business, nah, there ain't no time for that. That's a worse. <laughs> that's the worst feeling. And like, and like, you know, if you if you live in a place with multiple bathrooms, to be in like the wrong bathroom for where the yep. TP is, that's like the, yeah, and that's 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 so <laughs> bad. You're like. Because if you just run in there, you, you don't got to think. You got to go. And you sit down, and by the time you look over, and you're like, shit. And then you're like, baby. <laughs> no, see, baby. No, see, no, see, that's the worst feeling. When you shop, hey, babe, where you, hey, can you bring me some toilet paper? And you realize they need in the house. Not and just you, the room. And then you got like, They left the house and didn't and, tell you. And then you got to waddle. You got to waddle mm. through the house like anyone. <laughs> Got a whole, like no blinds are open. Got start closing doors and shit. Like yo, I don't. Oh no, I'm I'm I look when I live by myself, I am the king of ass naked. So like, oh, for, I mean, it's one thing if you in the house, but I don't know. I, I can't tell if anybody can look through my windows. There is a difference between walking through the house naked and walking through the house naked with a shitty ass. There's that too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, yeah, that's true. I give you that. I don't know what I don't know what these kids got. Like so I live in a like a, a neighborhood. There are people across the street from me. I don't know what these kids got. Like for Chris like look, it could be like December twenty sixth. These motherfuckers got damn um telescopes and it's like, oh shit, there's an open window. Maybe I can t- peep a booty. I mean a titty. And it's like, no, they see this like brown ass just walking through here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, this this happened to me one day, right? So I was younger and I was riding my bike, right? I was riding my bike and my bike, uh, and you know, I was young and I was kind of in trouble. So I could only really ride my bike around the block. I couldn't cross any street just around the block, around the block, around the block. So I go past, um, this, this, this girl house that I know. And out of the corner of my eye, I kind of see some titties, right? And I'm like, yo, and, and you know, I only, I'll, I don't really use the word titties very often. I say boobies, but this is, you know, this is where I was in my life at that time. Um, so I just like, yo, I kind of see some, I kind of see some boobies and I'm like, yo, I'm trying to see that again. And then like, you know, like it didn't register, like, you know, I saw boobies. I wasn't looking at a face. So I, so I went, so I went round the block and then I'm staring. And no one's in the doorway again. And I'm like, damn, I ain't see him. So I go back around one more time. And it's her brother who's just a little chunky. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, man, I ain't <sighs> see him. Look, for real, it's, it was the wrong boobs. Like, I'm like, man, listen. Man, you're going to really like episode number 13. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong boobs. That's the, that is that is the tentative show title. The wrong boobs. Oh, well, I'm, gonna, I'm, just, I'm, gonna leak, I'm gonna leak this now. Um, ours for th- that's gonna be releasing tonight. Sailor Moon crushes man boobs. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can't help it. This 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 um brio is very unflattering. No, wearing, his, wearing a black shirt is not very good for um streams. It's not. No, I'm gonna tell <laughs> you. Brie, that is. I'm gonna tell you. Um, I have the worst DMV pictures ever because of the fact that subconsciously I always dread having to go to DMV. And every time I go to DMV, for some reason, I always end up with a black shirt on. And, you know, the Virginia pictures are kind of a grayscale. So I always look naked in my pictures, which is weird. (laughs) 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 True story, bro. (laughs) So I haven't had to take a DMV photo in a while. But for me, I'm like the antithesis of a black person when it comes to taking photos. I love taking pictures. I love the smile when I take photos. I have to actively fight smiling at the DMV for photos. That's, that was all that's that thing was always stupid. The whole don't smile because the facial recognition software. I'm like, "Bruh, okay, you got you got two things. You you can do you can either do this the right way or you can let me do it the wrong way because just take two pictures. A smile picture and a and a not smiling picture, and yes, you have something to go is, on for your facial recognition. Yes, because this is JC Penny photos where they're going to take two pictures of your black ass. T- take two pictures. They put two pictures on the ID, like the it's like a, a, a on it's Virginia the same Virginia picture. license. Yeah, but it's but it's two pictures there. Just take one smile and one not for the facial <laughs> recognition not software. That's um, not how that then, works. But see, but see, here's the thing. Now because y'all want me to keep a straight face. So that the facial recognition software will work. All I have to do is commit crimes with a smile. I mean, who wouldn't? I'm going on a crime spree. Like, yeah, that's right. Y'all can't catch me because I'm smiling, motherfuckers. Ah, <laughs> look at my teeth, nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, this motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. I can't blow. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we sound like shitty '80s wrestlers? <laughs> I hate wrestling. I really do. I don't oh, look. Sir. What are they for, doing to me over on Nacho Friends? <laughs> you know, for for a short while, I really did like wrestling, and then it for some reason it just turned off for me. Like for two episodes, I liked wrestling. I used to watch wrestling every week, even like scraping money together to buy like pay per views and stuff. That was before the 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 service or whatever. Um, as I used to do that, but. Then it just got to the point to where it's, you know, like people like The Rock ended up in like movies and shit. And I'm like, I can't believe you in wrestling now because you are an actor. You know what I mean? Like you are the Scorpion King. So like, I, I, I can't, not, I can't see you as both things. I mean, I actually like Dwayne Johnson. I like The Rock. I think The Rock. I think The Rock should run for president. But the only problem with him running for president mm, no. is he's mm. is he's going to be a Republican. Um, and last last thing we need is more Republicans right now. Um, no, last, last thing we need is more celebrities. Like just let's just stop that. Stop that right now. That's stop. true. That's true. Stop. Like people were talking about Oprah, and I'm like nah. Oprah. Like why would you want Oprah to be the president? Like Oprah don't want that smoke, man. Like she don't want that life because every president no. by the time by the time their term is over they look just motherfucking tired. Like <laughs> Oprah is already tired. Exactly, she's already tired. And then and then just uh, yo, she about to get bank. She just signed a deal with Apple. I know they're not. I know they're not your favorite people. What are you talking? So what do you? Oh, I know you have Apple bitter. devices. I know you have Apple devices now. Bit a bit, like yo, but, but, I got this nice iPhone X right here. I spent a thousand of dollars. So when? Like, so when did that switch for you? Huh? When did the whole Apple thing switch for you? Because you were Mister Anti Apple everything. So I mean, of course, that was back when you know I was against like you know, hey, whatever you have can work for you. Um, so. I bought an app, iPad Mini 2, uh, back to 2015. A week later, bought my week, my wife an iPhone. Um, about two years after that, or actually maybe later that year, um, when I went back to A&T, um, I bought a MacBook Pro. Uh, then I bought some Apple TVs. Okay, so you went all the way into the ecosystem. Yeah. Then I bought, um, then I 
um, stopped using my um, Nexus Seven, um, my Nexus Six Plus, uh, or Six P. <laughs> went over to the iPhone Seven Plus. Then I bought an Apple Watch. You sold us out, dog. And then I went to the iPhone X. You sold us out, dog. Like for real, for real. Hey, I still got my, I still got my Six P. It's still here. No, no, no. It don't count if you just got it over there. It's activated. I could make a phone call on it. It still works. Wait, you got two yeah. phones? Being an, being an you, only Apple guy is kind of like being an only Nintendo guy. It is. But see, is that, for me, I have Apple Wall Garden surrounded by this city. So, like, I mean, I still have Google services. Like, almost all my shit's still on Google because of the fact that I've been in Android for so long. Um, like, I've I run my own Linux servers. I game exclusively on a Mac. I mean, on um, on Windows. Like, I built my own PC. Um, like, I have a Switch. I've got an Xbox One. I've got a PS4. So, I mean, the only thing I don't have is a Windows. Well, nobody has a Windows phone. Not even Aaron. Has a yeah. Phone. yeah, he was the only person that we could never get him in on stuff because he was like, man, I got a Windows phone. I ain't got no. that app. It was the worst time for him. Yeah, I got a window. I have this Windows phone. And he and he loved that thing. He did. He did. Um, and like I got to I mean, play with it a little bit, and you know, it was a pretty good phone he had. But yeah, I'm glad I mean, he's Android. It it seemed cool at the time, like when they were first coming out, because it was integrated with Xbox. You can do to like message your friends and shit. But like. But no, now, you know, you have no. the Xbox app. Windows Phone time, always seemed like a... App. No, Windows Phone always seemed like a cool idea. It did not seem yeah. cool in in actuality. Like, it's like, mm, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, dude. Did you, was like, did you ever wish your Zoom made phone calls? <laughs> Who the fuck bought a Zoom? Yeah, it was just crickets. Like, nobody wanted to, Like, wait, <laughs> what's a Zoom? I forgot about the Zoom. I had thought I about a Zoom since Zoom. you... <laughs> and they really liked it because there's some things to where they they just don't catch on and everyone's like who bought that shit and then they're actually pretty cool devices but they yeah. just don't quite catch on like you know the iPad or not the yeah, iPad like, the iPod like, I, I am a I am a former mini disc owner that's because you all this shit oh uh, <laughs> really? No, no, for real. Like a couple of weeks ago, I don't know. If I, I don't know if I said this. I think I said it on the show. But like, yeah, yeah. I, I looked up. I looked up, and I've been out of high school for twenty years. That's I yeah. feel fucking old. Yeah. How you feel? Well, yeah. I mean, like hard drive based media players are really cool. Like the the idea of it was really nice because yeah, you can have more. Like shit, flash memory was expensive. Like back in the day. So yeah, if you could put it like put a hard drive with a screen in it yeah you were doing things so yeah like the ipod and the zoom were really good but nobody was ready for the zoom nobody was really ready for a nearly actually i don't even think the zoom was touchscreen i don't think so it was just a huge i mean it was a great huge beautiful looking screen but nobody was ready for that nobody was ready for that um, everybody's like yo look quick wheel quick wheel click wheel what, what, whatever the word is yeah yeah i love i loved my old ipod like my, I ain't even had an iPod photo. That's I had the first one, and you know I I got it from my homeboy who worked at FedEx and kind of fell off a truck. Um, but of course, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, my man's a new, my man's new got me too. I got I had I had mine, and then you know I had one for the for the for the ex wife, um, and both of them had someone else's name on the back. But um, <laughs> I can't remember the Today name. It was going to be George and Martha. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're the Kents. <laughs> we're the Kents today. All right, so I think we're about halfway. I was thinking Georgia and Martha Washington, but you know, yeah. I look when it comes to me in comic books, don't 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 see me. Don't see no, me. but but actually, uh, the Kents. Uh, he was John, right? Jonathan I'll, Kent. Yeah, I told you, don't see me for a comic <laughs> book. I don't know. So, the Superman's dad was Jonathan, right? It was Jonathan, right? The the stepdad. Chase, Superman's dad. Mr. Superman? His stepdad. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what show did I show up for? <laughs> like, no, apparently, because apparently you ain't know the answer either, I'm guessing you showed up to the right place. <laughs> Look, I prepped it by saying, I don't know comic books. Don't come for me. <laughs> Stay off my mentions. Don't slide into my DMs. Look, look, I don't know shit. 
If it ain't Overwatch, I don't know. And don't even come me for Overwatch, Lord. Like, fuck it. I, they, they, they released a hamster today. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I was like, "What? What is?" Okay. I like. I'm not an Overwatch person. Like, I don't play. I don't play multiplayer pretty much at all. Um, I play co-op, and then I play by myself. Um, and sometimes I play with myself. But um, hey, look, sometimes we got needs. You know, judge. <laughs> I've come from a very sex positive podcast. Look, if you need that self love, <laughs> you know, is Overwatch still involved. But but well, like I can't I can't I I'm never caught Overwatch the same way that I never caught on to the whole battle royale thing. I like I just never like I don't understand it. Like and, and honestly I've never tried, but I don't get it. How well, Overwatch it? is kind of pretty good for people that don't like multiplayer because yeah you don't really have to be like the best best killer. You know no actually you do. Did you say killer on no, purpose? Like yeah, you, you, he was killer. No, you gotta yeah. be the mother. You got mother. Like yo, just ride or die. You gotta be like just like OG ninja killer. You know what I'm saying? Because like, the, like, the motherfuckers on your team that will let you know they gonna roast your ass. Son. It's be like you gotta, be like the uh, the the multiplayer on uh, Saints Row. Big ass chains, nigga. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Now, you gotta bring in some more. Watch. You ain't gotta be the best. Man, get out of here. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's let's get into y'all. let's get you can into just what help we've been. Your really, just help your team. I don't want to talk about Overwatch unless that's what Marcus has been playing. That's wait, all all, all you've been playing. Yeah, Overwatch is his killing floor for you. I so I have well, not yeah. played Killing Floor in about a, at the very least a week and a half. Well, okay, I take it back. I play Ori again. Okay. Little Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, last week while battling um, um, Streamlabs OBS issues, which is fun. Is that game as hard as everyone else says it is? It would. It's hard if you were going into a blind. Um, well, it is the blind <laughs> forest, right? Huh? It is the blind forest, right? It is the very blind forest. <laughs> um, but yeah, like if you're playing it the first time, yeah, it's super difficult. <laughs> Like, I went back and watched the video from my first playthrough when I was playing it on Xbox, and I was like, damn, this looks so easy. Like, I crushed, like, so, like, I actually finished it in three days because, like, you know, there's, like, three different sections. I finished each section a day just by pure happenstance. Um, Like, the pacing happened to work out that way. But, like, it took me, like, maybe two or three days to finish a section when I was playing on Xbox, and I'm looking at myself playing it then. It's like, why did I have so much trouble here? But I could just, like, hear myself like on the stream like fuck 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 damn it ah time to rock with the wrong ah like just like just expletive after expletive and i remember when it came out and like listening to uh major nelson talk about it and he like he had talked about he had put a heart monitor on when playing it it seemed like yo his heart rate just went up and up and up so when i finally said oh shit like i kind of see where he's coming from like this game actually is it's hard, but um, yeah. After the second playthrough, yeah, it was nothing. So is it the kind of thing you know what you need to do? It's just executing it is the hard part. Yeah, like it's like especially the first part with the um gins was like the, the ginso tree or whatever. Like yeah, that's just all about timing and precision. Um, like the, it's not like you have to fight anybody. It's like all right, you just need to jump, lock on, jump again, and just try to do that as quickly as you can. But um, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's not that hard um, when you've already done it. But yeah, you know, I imagine if you're gonna try to go in there the first time, it's it's gonna it's gonna burn you for a bit. The, the, uh, that's not on Game Pass, right? I don't think so. It should be. Seems like a game that should be. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Or it may be on Xbox. It's not on PC. At least I didn't see it on PC. So you played on PC, not Xbox. So the first time I played on Xbox, this time I played on PC because I bought it on Steam when it was on sale one day. Okay, um, is that so? That's all you've been playing recently? Pretty much. Oh well, I played the Crew Two beta, the open beta. I ain't, got, um, I ain't got time for betas. I got all the time in the world, baby. Really? You just tried to get <laughs> Boosie Collins on me? <laughs> I got all the time. In the world. Uh, now, I don't have time for betas. Like I barely have time enough to play video games at at, at this point. Um, so when I get to play something, I need to play something that's not going to go away by the time I get to play it again. I'm a, for me, 
play every, anytime I play a game, I'm playing it on stream, which is something I'm trying to move away from. Um, but yeah, like for me, I just I like the crew. It didn't have its time to breathe initially when it initially came out because it came out with Forza Horizon Two, which was you know dumb you know, on their part. You uh, know when I but, when I fell into it, it was when they gave it away for free on Xbox. We all got together and started playing, and was like, "Yo, this is actually a pretty dope game." Yeah, I so like I picked Ubisoft. gave it away on PC, like maybe like not too long after I built mine. So I was like, oh, okay, this is a good game to play. You know, once I get the hardware to play it, because I think it was still before I bought my like um my RX four eighty. So like, yeah, eventually when I get around to this, like it'll be a nice car game to have because this game was dumb and I just want to play it and laugh at it because it's a stupid game. Until I really sat down and played it. So, oh, like this actually is pretty good. When it's surrounded by nothing or terrible racing games. So playing it last year with uh, Forza Motorsport 7, with, um, was it Need for Speed? Um, what was it? The, 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 um, was what, that, was, what was the last one? I don't know. Did, did anyone it wasn't play the it? Run. It was, wasn't Rivals. Damn, what was it? It was the, the Fast and the Furious story one. Uh, but yeah, it was like that last Fast and the Furious, I mean, that last Need for Speed. Um, Grand Turismo Sport came out, but I don't play, like, I stopped playing Sim Racers because they, it just seems pointless. Like, there's no progression other than, hey, like, how many, you know, races can I do to get money to buy fast cars to drive around circles? Like, yeah, that's dumb. I, like, yeah. I got hooked on the Horizon stuff because there was a progression. There was a place for me to go. There was, I could actually get to credits. And the, and the um, open world helps with racing yeah. games a lot. So yeah, yeah like I think with, so. yeah, with those simulations, like just heavy ass. Except menus. burnout, because you ruin burnout with uh, paradise. I don't give a shit when anybody says burnout paradise ruined burnout. See, this is where the contrary Negro shows up. I'm just saying, burnout, burnout paradise was amazing. It sucked. Burnout paradise was amazing. It's the first amazingly, game I my, it's it was amazingly the first game terrible. I my PS3 when I finally had enough money to buy one with my crap singles in college. Um, <laughs> Paradise was amazing. I actually mm. cooked my grilled cheese on that hot ass PS3. Revenge, revenge is the best burnout. Period. I mean, that, and that's what I, that, and that's what I hear. I mean, my so again, I'm not going to knock anybody's decision. And get, obviously, you know, joke here. Um, but yeah, like I hear people, like I hear a lot of people say that um, revenge was the better one. Like I didn't play revenge. I thoroughly enjoyed Paradise. Bruh, get on that revenge is um, back and pat now, son. Yeah, that means I mean, well, for one, that, that means I would have to remember once I move. Um, <laughs> you already packed all your shit away. Yeah, well, my consoles have been my consoles have actually been packed up since February. Damn, I took them to um an extra life land party back um like at, around like the end of February. No, actually, it was March. It's been March. It was March because it was like the date, like the weekend before I started my new job. So I took them, um, I took them to like the land party, whatever, packed them back up, bought them home and never took them back out. I set the PC back up, but never so I kept the consoles bagged up because like everything I wanted to play was on PC. I mean, mainly Overwatch, but I mean, I own Overwatch on Xbox one, but yeah, I'm, I'm all on PC now, uh, which is why I'm really excited that Madden is coming back to PC. Yes, but here's, the, oh, I finally got a little bit more details about what they're doing with origin access. So, so I, so I was, so I thought about doing origin access for my daughter, um, who is really into the Sims and she wanted to play some of the Sims three. So I figured origin access, you know, pay $30 for a year. Cool. And then I saw the thing, you know, they, during their press conference, they talked about another version of it. Um, basically what it is, is it's $20 a month. Or a hundred dollars a year, or something like that, or like a mm-hmm. hundred, something like that. Yeah, hundred a year. And you, and <coughs> you don't have to go through the trial period anymore. You just, when the games come out, you get them. Yep. Yep. I, 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 I think, that was like, yeah, please, please. Yeah, that, that's cool, but I mean, on, I mean, on Xbox, most of the time, because of my gaming, the time that I have to game, I can wait till it's free. But see, this thing, I don't, I think that's a PC only thing though. 
Yeah, no, but Origin Access is it's just EA Access on. Oh, okay. So I would I, I would have paid for it. the EA version. No, no, they haven't. They have not done. They haven't announced a version of that for the Xbox. I would pay. I would pay more for the service if I can pay one time and be able to have access on both platforms. That would be nice, but and that also well, I think it would be difficult to do because of the fact that they're on like. It's just two different marketplaces. So it's like, I mean, you could look at like Xbox Game Pass where it does work on both because it's the same marketplace. Right. Like the Microsoft Store is on PC and on Xbox, but Origin has their own thing. And then you have Xbox's access to EA titles, which is another thing. I mean, I imagine they could get it to work. Like, I mean, it's like, hey, if I bought the PC version, give me an Xbox code that activates it on Xbox. Right. But unless they did it to where Origin was sort of an app on Xbox, it is. No, I mean like a Microsoft Store app. And I mean it is a separate app for like the the EA access stuff on the Xbox. So no, we're talking. No, we're talking. I know what you mean. Origin, yeah, the Origin app. I know what you mean. But don't confuse people, right? Uh, Chase, what show to be confused? Chase, what are you playing? Um. I've been dabbling in a, a lot of bunch of different shit because um, I did t- dabble in the Steam sale a little bit. I origin I made a big cart and then I kind of dwindled it down until I was about around twenty bucks. But it start I started around ninety and I was like, yeah, no. And then I was like, well, well let me get it around a new game. So I was like around sixty. I was like, yeah, let's get around twenty. So, so I got. The Shadowrun collection, which I've been looking at those games for a while, and I really need to get good to play those games because they're like super strategic, like XCOM style, like combat and shit. But I really like that world, like that cyberpunk type world. But it's it's like a cyberpunk world with like fantasy characters. It's just like really cool. It's actually I think what's the one with Will Smith? Bright. I think Bright is heavily inspired by Shadowrun. Yeah, I mean, it was I can pretty see much that. Shadowrun. The, yeah, the I can movie. see that. But I also got Vanquish because I actually missed out on the Xbox Gold thing because I didn't have gold at that time. But the the PC version is vastly superior. Dude, that game runs like, I mean, it's so butterly smooth. It runs like butter. So butter. <laughs> but, um, but that game Don't is be so creepy. stupid. But it's like <laughs> so much fun. It's It's like Gears of War made by Japanese people, but like... It, it's, but the gameplay is so good. But um, and then I actually I, I got Lost Planet because I never finished that. I never liked it back in the day, but I always kind of wished I liked it. You know, so, Blue and them really love Lost Planet. So, so I'm going to give it another try because um, you know, it's like two bucks. You know, so what the hell? Is and the um, still going on? Yeah, yes. it goes on until like shit, July fifth. Or six. Okay. I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I was just I was just talking about this. I was just talking about this with Blue. Uh I clicked on the front page of the Steam of Steam uh store and steep is eight ninety nine. How terrible must that game be? Or how stupid of an idea must that be for that game to be eight ninety nine right now? Well it's been two years already, hasn't it? Yeah. It's I mean, like have, do you know anybody that's played Steep? I can't name one person that I know of that plays Steep. But we're most of us play like shooters and shit. A lot of yeah. us don't play like games like that. So I don't know. Maybe we're just not in the right circle to want to play snowboarding shit. You know? Yeah. But yeah, I got um, Endless Space. My buddy got Stellaris, and I got Endless Space. Endless Space was like three bucks, and Stellaris was like thirty. But it's basically take Mass Effect, but take all the Mass Effect out, and it's just the planet exploration to where. It's like you're building colonies, you're like raising, mining for shit, and like raising the economies and like exploring a vast galaxy. It seems pretty cool and relaxing. Actually, I think. Wait, did you just say take a game like Mass Effect, but take all of the Mass Effect out? It's basically like the game looks like a um, like the Mass Effect, uh, like the galaxy, whatnot, and you zoom into different planets and stuff, and like find which ones are called. You can colonize and all that kind of stuff. So you just kind of, it's kind of a space opera. It's like the the shit that you play, but with just in space and colonizing shit. Okay. 
you know, like you're like RimWorld and shit, you know, and but not on, not actually on the planet. You're like, it's like further out. You're like, you know. Okay. So it seems pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, and I got a couple more of the Lego games for Aiden because he really digs those. And I thought I had more of the Batman ones, but he only had Batman two. So I was like, yeah, I'll get the the first and the second one. They were like four bucks. So, so yeah, that's what I got, and that's what I've been playing. I actually haven't got back into um, Mass Effect two, even though we we got internet back. So woo, and um, so I did boot it up and get my DLC going. But you know, I had all this new stuff I wanted to try out. So, but I'll definitely be getting into Mass Effect two after we get back from the lake. Yeah, we're going to the lake like this weekend. So that's a white people shit. Just. Go we're, off the grid we're, for going, a little bit. we're going. We're going to the lake. We're going to get off the grid. Why the fuck would I want to be off the grid? Like that's like bugs and shit. Like why would I want to do that? I mean, I mean spending so much time on the grid as as, as a formally identify as a as a person who formally identified themselves as a streamer. You know, being off the grid is a great thing. I don't want to be off the grid. That means I can't do like Facebook or Instagram and none of that, dog. Like that seems like I, like... Bar- I barely do. Well, well, I still have my phone. I like record videos and take pictures, and then when we get back, then I upload all that shit. And then no, that do doesn't Google mean you're off the grid. <laughs> well, not, that's a delayed not much grid. Service out there. <laughs> it's a delayed but, grid. It's not off the grid. Yeah, my my, well, my my off the grid is you know being in an airplane. It's just nice just to put the music on, just let everything out the way. Just so nice. Damn, I need to I need to take another trip. I just need to get out. Okay, I need to run away. I need to run away. Okay, so don't judge me. I didn't say nothing. I've never been on an airplane. I, I hear all the judging your beard. No, no, that's, that's where it is. Really, that's where it is. It's in that is beard. It, it's in no, the beard. I've, I've never been on an airplane. I can't judge you. It's the best. You should you should really fly on an airplane. It's really nice. No, I'm I'm paranoid as is. Why? Because I'm just I'm just paranoid. What was wrong uh, with an airplane? I could die. You could die in a car. You could die in your house. You could die right now on this stream. I know, but like it seems like it's well, more. Uh, I'm, it so seems, used to, I'm used to streaming podcasts. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm I what? just it just don't feel right. I, like it just. Feels I mean, wrong. I'm not scary, but like there is more of a chance of getting the car crash than it is for an airplane yeah. crash. Yeah, but if if God but, wanted me to fly, He would have gave me wings. He did. Did He attached them to the sides of a Boeing seven forty seven. It's great. All right, so let me talk about what I've been playing because we're we're getting close to an hour now. Um, I have only played Pokemon. Who are you? Are, are you now Michael? What? Okay, Michael so now. what ha- what had happened was what had happened. Um, <laughs> like my my daughter's here, and like I said, I'm I'm full time dad now, and I'm I'm motherfucking tired. But um, my I bought my daughter some Pokemon cards. She really likes the collectible part of the Pokemon cards, but she didn't know how to play the game. So I told her before she came here, I said, you know what? I'll buy some of my own cards, and we'll we'll figure out how to play. Well. Then, like, I can't. I watched some videos, and the kind of people that do Pokemon videos, not really my people. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, little kids and nerds. Like, <laughs> real ass nerds. <laughs> like, nerdy, nerd, nerd, nerds. Well, would you Would you like for me to learn how to play, and I could start recording a series of YouTube videos? If you want to, I mean the the online game. So so I downloaded Seems the online like game. Lot. I downloaded. Oh, yeah, I forgot that existed. Yeah, the online game that, is actually pretty cool. Uh, it is it, really good. Yeah, I, I actually liked it quite a bit, and that actually so taught now, me. Now that you're I, playing Pokemon, I, I I can like talk all the personas. No, all of it. Because I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to. No, you're going to be like, please, Chase, tell me more. No, I want to hear about the. I don't want to hear about no goddamn persona. But uh, and you ain't going to hear much about the damn Pokemon, (laughs) other than the fact that I am playing the game. I played quite a bit. I'm through like the a lot of the starting stuff, and that helped me learn the game. which was cool. Um, but then like the one time I wanted to play the game with my daughter, she didn't want to play. And I'm like, why the fuck did I learn all this shit? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so, um, so, but yeah, I, it, it's not bad. Like, 
it's there's a lot to learn there's a lot of nuance to it like you know you gotta you can't just like learn how to play the game with those the, with the decks that they give you like you have to learn how to build decks and all of this other stuff and i'm like man do i really got enough time for this apparently i do because i built i built so, my first i built my first deck yesterday so the question is now now that you've gotten you've you've been bitten bug the t you've been bitten by the tcg game right Mm-hmm. Um, will you make the jump over to a game like Hearthstone? Probably not, because Hearthstone is one of those things that I always said looked interesting. Um, the cool thing about the the cool thing about the Pokemon is like the little codes that they give you. Like I actually have mine right here. Actually, um, these little codes that they give you with these cards. Like when you buy like the real packs, they give you these little codes, and you just scan the QR codes with your with your webcam. And they put the stuff that you just bought into the online game. So that means I could just Wait, get my a door- PC version of this game. Yeah, it's on PC and it's on. The, I've been um, playing this thing on an iPad. Yeah, my iPad's I, getting, that, that, I, that iPad that I talked about at the beginning of the show uh-huh. that I bought years ago. Shit's getting old, bro. I got an iPad so. too. The the game keeps crashing on the iPad too. So uh, <laughs> I tried it, um, but no, I've been playing on PC. I've been playing on PC and. Um, it's you know it's it's kind of fun but like i think it will be more fun when i'm actually playing against like regular people but i'd rather you know more to the point i don't want to play with the public so i'd rather just play the game with my friends and just call it a day um so yeah i don't think i'm gonna be buying a whole hell of a lot more of it I'll just try to play the game and unlock some stuff that way. Um, but no, man, I'm, I'm, I'm having a little bit of fun and I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm a, see, I miss playing that game. So you even got me downloading it now. Yep. Hey, I'm, I'm never going to bed now. Yep. I, <laughs> got I'm court in the morning. <laughs> got court. Damn. Yeah. I got pulled over about a month ago for having expired plates because I forgot to renew them on my old car. When I bought the new one, you know that so happened. I've been driving around for expired plates for two years. Two years, bro. Two years. Okay, so let me tell you what happened with me when my my, my expired plates. Um, I my expired plates uh, happened for me at the same time everything happened. You know, all of those things happened. <sighs> my See, wife and I, my, my wife and I, think of those days somewhat fun. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, but um so what happened was it happened at the end of April and my tags expired at the end of April. So like all of that stuff was going on and I didn't think about it. One day I got pulled over twice on my way to a place and from a place. And I'm like, bruh, I got pulled the second one, I'm like, bruh, I just got pulled over on the way here. I got it. Just calm the fuck down. Just let me <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> So that so yeah I I wrote I wrote dirty oh man and I I wrote with a uh, I wrote dirty on the inspection sticker for quite some time I I did I wrote dirty on the inspection sticker for almost two years yeah it it got to a point I actually had to get a new plate yesterday damn <laughs> like, <laughs> bro just don't even worry about it we just gonna give you a I whole tried, ass plate like I called them this like, all right look I got the car inspected we're good so like because I. So we we can go to a, um, a website to pay you the taxes, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like, nah, B, you have to call the number. So like, all right, <laughs> I call the number. All right, so how much do I owe? Like, look, if I if I owe a lot, I need to know like how much money I need to go to the bank. I need to make sure my bank account can handle this. Mm-hmm. She pulled it. I was like, hey, my guy, no, uh, yeah, you gonna have to come in and get a new plate. Like, yeah, I can't can... even. The system oh. won't even let me see how much you owe. A whole you gotta ass come plate. In for the plate. Uh, that's alternate show title a whole ass plate oh my god it is like it showed up luckily so luckily i only had to pay the taxes for 2017 2016 you know alamance county or they gonna be sending me a letter little do they know in a week i'm moving so you better hope you get your boy no, 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 for you, you better look out for that shit before you fuck around oh, and no, they, I, I, I got look i got mail forwarded because yeah i ain't trying to look 
as much as Uncle Sam really be pissing me off sometimes, look, look, I ain't trying to get locked up. I got me, I got too many things to do your with boy, my life. To be locked your boy, up. Your boy forty five gonna show it to your house, uh, show it to your house himself, and be like, you know, orange hair sweeping. Um, like, bruh, the county said they need their money. We we here to get that money. I'm gonna run your pockets right now, and we gonna make this thing pop it. Right? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm bankrupt. And he's just gonna open. And he's like, he's just and he's gonna say, and look, as a, as a person who's went bankrupt a couple times, he's gonna be like, good choice. I said, bro, bro, I hate you as a president, bro. But yo, we could get down. Look, nah, I, look, I may be tweeting some crazy shit nowadays, but look. I, I swear sometimes I feel like I'm getting close to Kanye status, but not quite that. <sighs> I mean, you always, you've always had a twinge of Kanye. It, it, it is a twinge, but I keep it consistent. It's not like an event when I show up on Twitter. It's like, damn, Marcus tweeting some brazy shit again, but it ain't like slavery is a choice bullshit. <laughs> yeah. As long as you don't go to slavery as a choice, we, nah. we, we good. It's, so when like, Dot or disrespect or whatever went, is when in like, um, what what is it? Personality, internet personality year, or whatnot. You're like, you're like, um, actually, man, you know, high, high hill gamer over here really deserves this more than you do. That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna show up at the game awards next year. Like, yo, yo, fam, fam, I'm gonna let you finish. Yo, but my my my. my my, my nigga over there, Jay Dukes. Yo, yo, the high hill game. Yo, the all the okay. nacho fans crew. Yo, we are trending gamers. Now, not not this dude who be sitting flash the n word all to, over the internet. You have to. Um, what well, you just said it, but um, <laughs> you, I mean, you just said it. You just said it, my nigga. I'm gonna let you finish, but um, <laughs> but um, but you have to do the one thing that people miss when Kanye did that. You have to guzzle. A huge bottle of Hennessy on the red carpet. Can I can I drink tequila? I like that better. No, nah, you got it. Got to be Hendall. It got to be Hendall. I don't think I've ever had Hennessy. I don't think I've ever had Hennessy. It's, had it's Hennessy. a. It's not. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. Can I have some absinthe? Everclear. Look, I can get some moonshine from Winston Salem. Like, <laughs> and look, if you want me to get ripped, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna tell you, I'm a lightweight. Like snops will sneak up on my ass, and I'll be like gone in like two drinks. Gone, uh, gone. It's gonna, it's gonna take a minute. I'm not, I'm not a drinker. I'm not, I'm not really a drinker. But like, <laughs> I, but like, bruh, like that one time, um, when me, uh, when Blue was in Richmond, and uh, he he gave me that drink. I like, he gave me that not your mom's apple pie, and he was like. <laughs> Yeah, I go, I go like I'm really like I, like I'm a, I'm a goofy drunk. Thank goodness I'm not a mean drunk. Like think 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 everything that you would you would think. Thank the Lord. Thank my mama. You know, like thank everything that I'm not a mean drunk because like I I have a little bit and I'm just like, is it hot in here? And then the next thing you know, woo! Um, that's just that's just me when I'm drunk. <laughs> that's just me when I'm drunk. See, I'm proud to say that I'm the same person, just maybe, and I would say a little bit louder. Back when I was drinking heavily, sure, I was louder than I was then. Like, my, I was louder than my sober self. But drunk me is actually just twitch me at this point or Twitter me. Like, I wish I could say I was fucking inebriated. When I'm tweeting half the shit that I'm tweeting, half the time it's like me literally having shower thoughts, or in these in some of these cases it's been toilet thoughts, right? Like, like no, nah, like, like you know what? No, nah, this is on my mind. I want other, I want people to answer these questions. I want people to be thinking about this today. But like see, y'all saw this tweet. I, I want you to think about. It. Don't answer it. Just think about. It. I always come back to the same thing. Like when I'm like lost in thought and I'm like shower thinking or poop thinking. Um, I always come back to the same thing. Like, and it's always the same question that I ask myself: How did we evolve enough as a people to understand what notes to hit when we whistle? <laughs> Yo, that's a <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Even if you're not musically inclined, like for some reason, like when you whistle, you know how to hit those notes. How did that happen? Like how did but that happen? It, but is it that you know how to hit a note or you just know what sounds good? 
No, like say, like you were with, like, that, like that say, point it just becomes muscle memory. Yeah, look, yeah. I mean, I'm, I guess it's just muscle memory from like when you're young and you first learn how to whistle and you just whistle a lot. Yeah, but how do you remember a note though? If yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. Like, but be, you may I used not to... know it's a note. Like again, you only understand the concept of a note because you know what music is. You know that music is composed of notes. But if you were just blowing air, like think about before, like the concept of written music was a, a, the thing. Nobody was thinking of notes. He's like, all right, I know how to make noises using things. I know how it sounds, and this is how I want it to sound. I know if I do this specific thing, I've made this specific noise. But see, here's the thing. On to that. Like, like I say, all right, so I know you don't really listen to modern music. That's not really your jam. Wait, what do you mean? Define modern music. I listen modern. to EDM all the time. Like, I'm that's, like, yellow that's, ball, baby. That's, that's no, modern music. No one it's gives modern. a shit about EDM. But just, like, like say, like say, like say, <laughs> if I, if I told you right now, if you, if you know, to whistle the, 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 the flute part from Mask Off, like automatically or automatically, you can do that. And how? No, I wouldn't say automatically. Like, you if, would have to. Like you like, would you, have to whistle it. No, okay, this is about what it sounds like, and I kind of know what the octaves are, and I know which muscles I need to move on my lips to move um, to make those sounds when I blow air through my mouth. But but like if if I just heard if I if I just heard mask off for the first time, right, and it gets stuck in my head for some reason, I know how to whistle that shit, and it's not like I practiced it. It's just like I heard do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Which honestly sounds like it's from medieval fantasy game, it but is. um, but um, but actually it's from like a like it's from a song called the prison song. It's like weird, um, but um, <laughs> really, um, but like I could just whistle that. And, and like I just heard it, that part got stuck in my head. I can whistle it, and it's like really weird to me. So every time I'm like lost in thought, that always pops in my head. But I mean, go back to Drumline. Um, Nick Cannon's character could not read music, but he could play the drums. I can't read music, but I can play the drums just as well as Nick Cannon. But that's but that that's the same concept. But that was practice for me. Most Actually, it was for him too. I have Most sticks. Guitars- don't read music but it was but see it was the same thing for him too it was practice and even with whistling after you practice it after you practice it enough if you hear something marcus you can marcus imitate. marcus i don't need Look, you to solve this i just want to be lost again, in my own thoughts again see after i pose the question on twitter i then proceed to solve it i just don't have enough toilet paper <laughs> to sit <laughs> <laughs> That enough, experience. enough toilet well, paper. Show up this we call a callback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, enough toilet paper. Alternate show title. <laughs> or Twitter me. <laughs> uh, okay, are, are we going? I mean, I know we're over. We're over the hour mark at this point. Uh, do we want to talk about what we've been watching real quick? I've been watching nothing. I don't have. I don't, don't want to be that guy. So I don't have TV, but I don't have cable. I don't either. I, I watch everything on Netflix and YouTube mostly. Well, I, at that point, then yeah, I, I actually watched Luke Cage. I forgot I did watch Luke Cage. I f- I finished it, and I only said this one thing on Facetious earlier. If you're a type of person, the ending will piss you off. It didn't piss me off, but I understand why it would piss you off. That's all I was, that's all I'm saying. I ain't saying nothing. The way that it ends, if you're a type of person, it will piss you off. I understand it. It didn't do that for me, but I completely understand why you would do that. It was weird. Yes, it was. It was a, it was a weird ending. Yes. Like, I, like, yeah, I understand why your boy got a little upset, but I mean, sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And then you, and then you realize that, uh, without spoiling anything, they've been foreshadowing the ending the whole season. Yeah. Yeah. The whole season, which is weird, but it's awesome in the writing that they foreshadowed that so much. And I, you know, I dug it. Um, uh, somebody hasn't seen a, a Luke Cage at all, really. I'm not gonna say who Chase. Chase, that was, welcome to Front Street. No, I was not, I was not <laughs> saying Chase hasn't seen Luke Cage. I was saying, Chase, please speak to what you've been watching. Wink. <laughs> um, 
I have watched. I haven't watched. I, I'm about yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I your, really your, your internet was out. Say he watched Luke Cage. <laughs> I was really hoping he was going to say that. No, we have we had this conversation. What was it in the in the Discord that you had yeah. watched Luke Cage? Yeah, we just had this conversation in the Discord, so I know I was safe there. Yeah, because I because I, I do want to get more through. Um, I get well, I, I do want to get through a lot of the the Hell's Kitchen stuff with the wife because I because we dug um, um, Daredevil, Daredevil, and. Um, you know, it's just hardly ever time to, like, get through something like that when you're like, I kind of want to play a game, or do I want to watch a show, or do I want to, like, do nothing? Like, <laughs> iPad, bro. iPad, the, bro. The, Sit the iPad the, the right next nothing? to your computer that's, screen. That's Netflix I, I cannot do two things at once like that. Like, really? if I'm watching something, I'm going to, like, want to pay attention. Like, I was trying to play... Um, you, you know the game I was playing, the um, the Valhalla game, where it's like a bartending game? I was trying to, um... I was trying to play really, that Chase? game when, um... It happened to Marcus, too, and I just... Yeah, I, was just a little, I wasn't going to say anything, because that shit didn't happen to me. <laughs> Both of y'all motherfuckers. I got, I got you. I got you, dog. I got you. <laughs> but anyway, um... There, my, my son had something going on in the background, and since it's so story-based, and I was doing all the reading and stuff, I couldn't, like... I just turned it off because I was like, I can't do this game right now. No, I can't play. So, I can't play something that I got to do a whole bunch of reading. But definitely, like if I'm playing RimWorld or something like that, I'm usually listening to a podcast or an audio book, or I might have um, some YouTube videos, like some band videos or something like that, playing in the background. All kinds I mean, of shit. I can listen to stuff while playing. Like if you're like grinding <laughs> Destiny or something, but yeah, yeah, I can totally listen to music or podcast during that. Oh, no, I've, had, I've, had, I've had my iPad. Like, I don't up on like the side. Just listening to a show. I want to like watch the show. You know? Yeah, I tried playing the Octopath demo on uh, the the Octopath Traveler demo on the Switch while I'm um, trying to watch um, Luke Cage. Uh, put it up, let it, let an episode play. It's like I can't do this. Okay, set the Switch down. Like, yeah. But here's here's All the right. problem with season two of Luke Cage. There's a lot of Jamaicans, and they are very hard to understand. Yo, so I actually watched. All of my shows with the caption on. It's just been a thing I've been doing since a kid. I do. I do for, sometimes. For like no reason other than hey, like there are just words there sometimes. The caption for the Jamaicans on that show are in sh- just English. Like there are like a couple of occasions where they will type it the way they said it, mm. but every other time the captions are in straight English, and I'm glad that I had them on. Right. Yeah, well, yo, we gonna go over there and we gonna dead them. Like, yo, we're gonna like guy, we're going to go over there and kill those people. Like, damn. Wagwan scene, what is going on, sir? <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, they take, yo, they take the money away from we. They stole the money from us. <laughs> I was like, I, I told, I, I was like, David, look, 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 See, they're translating everything. This is amazing, right? <laughs> Like I like it may then here's another one. Man, like what what do blind people think? I mean what do deaf people think when they actually try to read actual Jamaican? Right. Like, 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 they don't even know. They don't even know what we're listening to right now. Because they can't like, hear it and they've never heard it before and they're like, the fuck is this? Um <laughs> Well no, like I'm talking like they're reading the English and like they're looking at everybody else who's like confused as shit, like, yo, like what D- did you not understand? They took the money from these these poor gentlemen. <laughs> like, you 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 read that? I couldn't read it. I was too busy watching. Uh, so that so they took the money. Okay, all right. Look, so you're going to be my translator from here on out to tell me what's happening. Like, I, if you need to sign it to me or something, I don't know. But but you can read it. I ain't reading no caption on no TV. <sighs> Shout out to that lady who was the fake interpreter. Was it in Florida where she? <laughs> She was just faking stuff. It got caught. She was a fake interpreter. What to that dude that was um what was it South Africa? I don't know about that one. What's, what are you talking about? What like the the one that everybody was shipping on initially? Like it was like some, some dude. In, I think it was in South Africa who was signing something, and people like everybody who could understand sign language. Like yo, like he's literally saying gibberish. Yeah, like uh, uh, this this what? lady this lady was the same thing, but she was. Oh, I see it. A fake interpreter at the Nelson Mandela Memorial? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna watch that in a minute. But this lady was uh on the official official press conference for the Hurricane Irma stuff in yeah, Florida. Too. Yeah. She was just up there just winging it. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, I know what's the Hurricane that, Irma shit good up in here? Hey, gang, some gang, shit, you know. Here. Like, male, male. But it seems like uh-huh. more fucked up to be like uh, a fake interpreter for Nelson Mandela's memorial. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. I can no, see so that. I'm just going to walk up and just like, you know, just throw gang signs like, yo, what's up? Hey, hey, gang, gang, yo, yo, we here. We here. What's up? <laughs> we blooding right now. So now we all in. I can't right. do it. How you do the blood thing? It's like I don't know. Like, I, is this is this a video podcast? No, no. we can okay, only see each other. You know, I might have just like marked myself a death if anybody. No, nah, hell, hell no. I just, look. I, I would. Do you think I would have did that shit on a video podcast? <laughs> hell no. It would, it would, I mean, I can. So, do it, sometimes bro. I can be crazy, but I damn sure ain't stupid. I mean, it's I like imitate that. Alex Jones on the regular on my show. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. If- I don't know if I'm like it's like backwards or whatever, but like I imitate Alex Jones on the regular on my podcast. Like I'm just wait, like I'm either waiting for him to get me or the Bajency, and I'm still more afraid of the Bajency than I, I am would, Alex. Jones. I, I would be because they will come for you. Like yo, seriously, is like yo, I don't want that smoke. Nah, you don't want. You don't want. <laughs> that's why I stop talking about Beyonce. Like, you don't want no smoke with the Beehive, bro. Uh, no smoke. No. I think my wife's a part of it. I have to sleep with one eye open. She's amazing, sir. Mm, I don't know. I'm still part of the resistance. No, don't resist. <laughs> give, give in. Beyonce is amazing. Uh, I mean, I like the amount of control she has over um, Mr. Carter nowadays. <laughs> Bruh. It's like, yo, every time they like take pictures together and stuff like that, it's always like, it's almost as if he's wearing a sign. It's like, I fucked up my relationship and now yes. I have to do this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so much of that. Yo, I saw, I saw a meme and I shared it earlier today and then I, then we're going to wrap this up. But I saw a meme today and it's, uh, it's a picture of the three of them. It's Beyonce, Jay Z in blue. And, uh, it's like Jay Z said, uh, "Our album went to number two on the charts," and Beyonce is looking at him like, "Nigga, do I look like a number two? And <laughs> and and Blue is like, "These niggas." <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I love Blue. By the way, Blue is like the best. Her reactions to stuff is like amazing. Like at the uh, at the award show where somebody was presenting uh, something like that that they didn't really like. Um, and they were just, so Beyonce and Jay-Z kind of start clapping because they were just being respectful of whoever that was. It was somebody on the stage and you could see Blue, like, take her hands and, like, push their hands down. Like, no, we don't do this. (laughs) We don't do this. (laughs) We don't do this. So then she does it with both hands. She turns to each of them and puts both of their hands down with both of her hands. Like, we don't do this. Thank you. And it just looks real. (laughs) Hot <laughs> garbage. <laughs> Dude, embarrassing. We don't fucking clap for Selena Gomez, motherfuckers. No, no. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but Selena Gomez popped in my head. <laughs> Adults doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alternate show title. We don't clap for Selena Gomez. Um. Man, how many show titles you got? <laughs> I do the main one, and if something comes up over the course of the show, I would put it as alternate titles. Yeah, I do. I, I do that if, when I'm paying attention. Like last week, I only had one title because I wasn't paying attention for most of it. I was thinking about Pokemon, but um, that's right. You know, I come, I come, I come with the show title, son. That's what I do. Word up. That's what I do. All right, so we gonna wrap this up. Um, uh, Marcus, give your shoutouts. Yo, so thank you for having me aboard. It's, it's nice. It's, it's it's great to be here for the first time. It's very nice. I, I don't like I, what you've I, done I with just, the place. I keep I keep thinking like there has to be a time. I know I've been on. I know I've been on the old show a few times. Yeah, you've been on there for a minute. And I, like I, like I, I joke. I have a, like I, I have the sneaking suspicion I've been on here before. It's been a minute. I want to say there were different people, a lot of different people. Right. I may not have been alone either. Right. <laughs> this like is the we, first time alone. 
Yeah, I, I believe a, I, I believe at, at some point a long time ago we had you and Rob on. Damn, I wasn't even thinking about him. Boy, that's been a bit. Too. I mean, I, I, I see him all the time. We cool. I, I want I want him to come on the show, but he keeps flaking on me. I want him. I want I him mean, to come on the I show. Can, I can only. I can only wonder why. No, no, no. Actually, like right now, right now we are we are in a cool place. Like I see them oh. all the time. I shake his hand. We have conversations. Um, My wife and I were still stuck in 2013. Like, oh, really? I still remember that day. <laughs> yeah, it was it was, a, it was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. But oh, I think well, like it's been it's been like five years. Like it's yeah. We we and and we're in to be honest. Like at the end of the day, we're all kind of stuck with each other. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because there's yeah. a kid, because there's a kid involved. So like, we're all stuck with each other. So at some point, you have to make some peace with this and yeah. just be like, you know what? We have to be adults here. Yeah. We have to be adults here, uh, and and just let the re- let let the rest of it go. And you here know, comes Pooh Bear to put your hands on. So no, no, we don't clap for that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's, but, it's it's fun it's it's fun times at their house, but um, even though I've never been in their house, mm. I've never been in. I've only been to the door. Yeah, see, this is why I don't leave my house. I ain't got to worry about nothing out there. It's scary out there. <laughs> it, um, it, it is scary out there, but um, but yeah, but yeah. So yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me here. I do want to give a shout out to my crew over there at the Nacho <laughs> Friends Podcast. You know, Jay Dukes, aka Nine Gus. The high hill gamer, you know, the Oprah of the Nerd World, you know, we doing big things out there. You know, we we crushing out here with these listens. You know, we got these supporters out here. You know, they listening, the dumb things. They like they like the the my little ponies. They like the man boobs. You know, it is what it is. You know, we got um. I sound, I sound like a. I'm about to sound like a stripper, like a like a stripper DJ or like a. Um, no, you would like. like a, you're just, like. You know, we we got you, we got, you're we got a titty f- meat. We got titty meat. Um, you are a few episode. octaves away from. Uh, you are a few octaves up uh, away from DJ Khaled right now. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. At least you say no. Actually, I can't be DJ Khaled because I eat the box. Uh, <laughs> Are you in there? I, 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 we, we had a, we had an episode about that. So actually, actually, wasn't that titty? That was titty meat. That was titty, yeah, that was, was uh, titty. okay. Uh, so in full disclosure, I have very very little time for podcasts. I have hey, downloaded hey, them, hey, but I have not I listened. You're about to say I have very little time to eat the box. <laughs> oh no, there's always time. Nah, that's that's like Jello. Time. There's always time for that. Box. Again, two the things you do. You buy. Two plus plus toilet paper. You buy craft singles or better. You always take time to eat the box. Um, so it's like it's like Jello. Things. There's always room. There's always room. Um, so yeah, definitely shouts out to them. You know, and shouts out to our listeners out there. It's been amazing for like the first thirteen episodes. We well, be thirteen episodes in half an hour. So for the first right. thirteen episodes, we've had amazing supporters. People come in through the streams and chat it up with us, and you know, make the shows really special and amazing. So, again, thank you to all of them, and again, thank you to my co-hosts because you know we we keep each other sane in this mad mad world. You know, that's what we do. Damn it! Yeah. Now that song just popped in my head. Now I'm thinking about Gears of War. See, that's what I do. This is what I bring to the table. Mad world. Now I gotta look sad with a with a I got I I gotta I gotta <laughs> pretend to look sad with a big fucking rifle with a chainsaw on it. So now I'm sad. Mad world, um, Mad World <laughs> show title. I bought I bought a new keyboard, so here's my old one. I'm gonna walk with this one downstairs, just looking all sad. <laughs> get my doc, Dr Pepper. It's gonna be amazing. Doc Dr Pepper is fucking amazing. That's, it's the sweet one. Woo-hoo. Chase. Um, just shout out to the people, man. Um, shout out to the freaking plumber, because we have, um, had some toilet problems, and, um, we didn't know what it was, and, uh, they freaking <laughs> did our freaking... You be eating fiber, ain't you? <laughs> he be using that 20 plot toilet paper. That shit just don't flush. <laughs> out here making one plot um, mittens. Wiping his ass with quilts. <laughs> Well, it was weird, man. We um we had the the um septic tank like drain, and then because everyone was like, "Yes, yeah, septic tank problem." Because every time you flush a toilet, the sinks would bubble, and or, or like if you're running water, the toilet would bubble. Oh, like, yo, that sounds flush- like some exorcism bullshit. Like, yo, nah, this house possessed. I'm out. Yeah, that's why you I sold flush my the house. toilet, and there would be like soap in it. So, but he said that it, he redid the the plumbing underneath. So, hopefully, this whole thing's over with. 
And because um, that was some shitty, it just sucked. You know, you know I don't want to put it out there. Plumbers do not get enough love, except for Mario. Fuck Mario. All the other plumbers, all the real plumbers out there. Joe the plumber, especially you. You need to get the love. Shout out to plumbers. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Because they're gonna the go home to their wife smelling like shit. Exactly, yeah. but they get pizzay though. Up. They get all the pizzay though. They, it, I mean, they, it's so they much do. money, so much money. Like, bruh, I, 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 uh, I was at work uh, with a, a different job, and um, he was just kind of chilling one day, you know, waiting for like the other dude to go get some parts or something like that. And I was like, "How much are you making for this?" And he told me, and I was like, "Shit, I'm in the wrong business." I mean, but he doesn't mind waiting and shit, though. Yeah, that's 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 that, the difference. That's the thing. That's like, the difference. Would you do that for that money? I mean, I, okay, I would strongly consider. <laughs> you wouldn't even go outside let's, with your let's shoes. Let's off. be real. Let's be real. Would I mean, I'm not. That? I'm not white. I don't go outside with with no shoes on. I mean, what do you say? I do that all the time. I'm just lazy. <sighs> I hate everything <laughs> right now. All right, so. <laughs> Um, I I can't do that. I can't do, I can't do the, like, I can't, I can't even drive with, like, my, my girl will just wear some flip flops. And then when she starts driving, she'll just kick the flip flops off and then just drive with, like, bare feet. But I don't like the grooves on the bottom of my feet. I have to at least have the flip flops on. You know what? I tried, okay, I'm going to tell y'all this. I tried one time to drive with some aqua socks on, and it was the weirdest fucking experience ever in my life. It was just weird. I just couldn't do it. I was just like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to stop. And I think I got some shoes back there. I know I don't really wear shoes without socks, but I got I got to do this today because I got to put on some shoes here. Yeah, a little PSA, it's not, a, well, at least not North Carolina. It's not illegal. It's just frowned upon. Everyone says, you, oh, yeah, you're going to get pulled over and you're going to get a ticket for not for wearing flip-flops or, like, you know, driving without your shoes on. Wait, that's, that's a problem? Like, that's what they try to tell you, but it's, you know, it's unsafe, but it's you not illegal. That's it. But how are you going to know until he already pulled me over for something else? You know what I'm saying? Double I, jeopardy. Double jeopardy. You can't yeah. get me again. Yeah. <laughs> See, right. I have, I got, I got some slides on, but I'm wearing aqua socks. Bam, <laughs> dude, I got you for a DUI. Do you really think I care? <laughs> right, you, you got me for a DUI. Do you really think I care about the fucking flip flops right now? Like, I'll just, I'll just try to keep my license. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. So, um, thank you, man. This this has been fun. Um. And, and so now we get to do your show, right? Yeah, I got I got clear it though. Last time I bought guests on, I got like yelled at and got the stink eye. I, look, um, the high heel gamer, she she she's very very particular okay. about who we bring on. She's cra- like again, I, I tried to bring. Did he bring on your boy man? Black female Sorry. gamer, and just it's just it got. I just got shot off. Know, like, but you know that the, the 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 thing about women and men, you just know this. Um, all women hate each other. No, oh no, they got along just fine. No, they they all hate each other. She would get along fine while she's there, and then and then as soon as the show was over, it'd be like, who the fuck is that bitch? Like it goes there. Like who the fuck is that bitch with the finger? I mean, again, it wasn't directed at her though. It was always like me. It's because you, yeah, because you did it. Like somebody. It's because you were object objectifying her. I must have. It was so many, so many things. I wasn't respecting her agency. Yeah. (laughs) So, all right, we we wrapping for real now. So, um, thank you, thank you to all the people. All the, all the people who are uh, listening whenever you listen, listen wherever you listen. Uh, we appreciate you uh, very greatly. Um, uh, the paintings I sent, look, I sent out a bunch of paintings last weekend and one person uh, said that the foam boards that I used to keep the paintings from being crushed stuck to the painting. So now I got to do it over again. <laughs> so, uh, so all, I got one person left that has not, uh, uh, has not received his yet. And hopefully it's not, you know, I, it, I don't know whether it was a heat thing or whatever, but I sent this one to Texas. So yeah. So, but I actually um, arrived at a solid piece at that point. 
Yeah, actually, um, cardboard just melted. Yeah, the the one the one the the other one I sent to Rajani in Sacramento, so it's hot. Yeah, it's like, it's it's different kind of hot, D- different kind of hot, but it's still yeah. hot. But um, but yeah. So uh, shout out to the uh, shout out to the people who, ch- who go by and check out those paintings at uh, Facebook dot com slash ptcac for peace through colors arts and crafts. And um, yeah, we're out of here. Peace out to the warriors, yo. Be strong, wrong. I'm just hoping everybody can see me wave through the air through the audio. It's amazing. I didn't, I didn't turn this off yet, so they heard you say that. Good. I wanted them to hear. I'd have been upset if you cut it off beforehand. I like that shit, yeah, boy. I'm telling you, woke. I'm telling. All right, I ain't gonna talk.